Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue with reading Psalm. I'm going, I'm going to read Psalm 41. I'm going to read it. Psalm 41. For the director of music, a Psalm of David. Blessed is he who has regard for the weak. The Lord delivers him in times of trouble. The Lord will protect him and preserve his life. He will bless him in the land and not surrender him to the desire of his foes. The Lord will sustain him on his sick bed and restore him from his bed of illness. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies say of me in my lease, When will he die and his name perish? Whenever one comes to see me, he speaks falsely, while his heart gathers slander. Then he goes out and spreads it abroad. All, I, all my enemies whisper together against me. They imagine the worst of for me, saying, A vile disease has beset him. He will never get up from the place where he lies. Even my close friend, whom I trusted, he who shared my bread, has lift, lifted up his heel against me. But you, O Lord, have mercy on me. Raise me up that I may repay them. I know that you are pleased with me, for my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity you uphold me, and set me in your presence forever. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and Amen. So this is uh, Psalm 41. Um, this is, again, we do not know at what circumstances and the one. Uh, did David write this piece? But uh, looks like uh, at his um, uh, old age, or uh, because we did not know he was ill. Uh, why he? Uh, the I don't recall any circumstances that he was ill, but uh, uh, looks like he is in uh, probably he's in the in the palace uh, he, on his throne. He might have some physical conditions, and then um, and also plus physical condition plus uh, all the um, the business or, or, or all the matters about his life so he felt again very distressed so in general the tone of this Psalm 41 is very um, um, uh, blue or um, uh, not at ease also it's another piece of not at ease um, strong emotion saying that I'm in trouble and uh, please come help me. So, um, blessed is he who has regard for the weak and the Lord delivers him in times of trouble. The Lord will protect him and preserve his life. He will bless him in the land and not surrender him to the desire of his foes. The Lord will sustain him on his sick bed and restore him uh, from his bed of illness. So it looks like uh, uh, before he uh, mentioned his condition or his uh, not ease or his enemies, he uh, laid this out. This is the, the rule of God. Blessed, who are uh, blessed. Blessed are those considered the weak and help the weakness and uh, God will protect them and uh, bless them. So, and now after this, and he said, Lord, have mercy on me. I heal me. I have sinned against you. My enemies say of me in Malice, and when will he die? His name perished. So first, to mention what what kind of person will be blessed by God, and then mentioned that I am have sinned against you, and then mentioned about enemies. So this is the um, it's a very smart and wise way to to lay out. Um, the thought first of all um, lay out to the ground the the rules of ground um, blessed are those and then um, humble re, um, uh, I have sinned against you ask for mercy and then this to the problem what did they do what do they do what have they done to me uh, I know I'm not perfect but those people even worse uh, so they come to see me, uh, the enemy say of me, Malice, when, he, when will he die, this is quoted, when will he die and his name perish. So uh, sense the hatred from the enemies, and uh, whenever 
One comes to see me, he speaks falsely, while his heart I gather slender, and then he goes out and spread it uh, abroad. So, uh, really, uh, they just uh, hawking eyes around me, try to uh, gather information to make a slander, and then go out and spread. Basically, they just try to ruin my name uh, from what they did. They hope I will be ruined, either physically uh, not going to get up from the sick bed, and uh, also. Um, a reputation uh, spread out that uh, make uh, some slanders and ruin his name. All my enemies whisper together against me. They imagine the worst for me, saying, A wild disease has beset him. He will never get up from the place where he lies. These are quoted. So it means uh, those people just, uh, uh, you know, marking, in addition to marking him, this time is really. Um, you know, uh, talk together to hope that he um, pass this message of anguish and to uh, hope that he will die and not get him up from the sick bed. Looks like he probably either from suffering from the emotional or physically he was uh, on the sick bed and those people come to visit him and gather the, the wrong information, make a slander that he will not going to get up again because he had sinned against the Lord. So this kind of uh, situation, this is about uh, um, uh, what he wrote for. Uh, even my close friend whom I trusted now, uh, who shared my bread now is against me. So even I think um, the the most trustworthy person, now even not, not as what I thought, so against me. So from uh, the beginning to here, beginning uh, with the, the lay, lay out the ground of rules, uh, blessed are those who uh, consider the weak and show passion to the weakness, and then um, uh, lay out the what happening with, with me. I am sick uh, on the sick bed, those people just start to against me. Uh, they will uh, wish me die early and ruin my name. But you, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Raise me up that I may repay them. I know that you are pleased with me, for my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity, you uphold me and set me in your presence forever. So this is the uh, the plea, the, uh, the pray. Uh, after laying out all the humans, Basically, the most trustworthy people he thought was, and now it's also uh, just as everybody else start to uh, get up to against him. So he think nobody is trustworthy. It's only you. Um, you have mercy on me. You raise me up, um, and uh, you are going. You are pleased with me because my enemy, even though they make slanders, even though they hope I will not get up, but I, I am. I am still. Uh, I'm still strong uh, because of you. Uh, in, in, my, uh, inter inter in my integrity, you hold me and send me in your presence forever. So again, you, even though they make slanders, but you put me uh, through these, and physically make me strong, I'm still here, and also integrity with uh, uphold because of you. Um, praise to the Lord, uh, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting, amen and amen. So my final word, the final words, because you, um, uh, you have done this, and I have the faith. We have the, um, the relationship. You're my God. I'm your chosen one. Uh, so then I still continually to praise you, um, and uh, everlasting, everlasting. So this is the Psalm uh, forty one. Um, it's a, it's a, a, to me it's kind of typical of uh, majority of the Psalms in this kind of laying out. Uh, first of all, um, talk about the rules of God. Blessed are those who uh, um, have passion to the weak and not, at least, not um, harm the weak or the feeble, not brought harm to those people. And then laying out, I um, repent, I have sinned against you. And then talk about those people, their words. Uh, so they, during my time of this difficulty, they try to. Um, uh, destroy me, either my name or physically, I uh, wish I'm not going to get up. And then uh, the last is the pray. Uh, please continue to, to uh, protect me, have mercy on me, and uh, I'm, I have to, and the uh, faith is the last. Your name will be praised ever and ever. 
uh, because you not only uh, keep me uh, stand up again from the sick bed, also um, maintain my integrity. So this is the Psalm uh, 41. It's very, um, uh, uh, it's very uh, real. Again, from reading Psalm, I sense the real. Um, so it happens to, to a lot of us, a lot of time. Um, so each time, if we can go or look at this, get the strength and to, um, to, to keep going on. Okay, so I hope you can read uh, and interpret in your way. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.